The void that this country has sunk into is only getting deeper, and only if we stand together are we to shine bright enough to find the exit. I don't know if this is a tribute or a rant that the authorities can go screw themselves. How pathetic, how utterly, utterly pathetic that it was just 10 days, less than a thousand days since he disappeared and they didn't stop the man who stabbed him to death. At what point did one story become the other state? On days like this. They say you should count your blessings, so I count my family and friends. And I see moving targets. And I wonder who will fall next. Who will become a hashtag next, become a symbol next, fodder for political rhetoric next. And I wonder how do I keep all of you safe? In my mind, it never gives me a quiet time usually, but on days like this, my mind just draws the blank. On days like this, they say you should hold each other close. But I'm afraid to hold you too tight, because I don't know how many wounds you've kept secretly from me, how many times you've been threatened for thinking differently, how many death threats the police have not taken seriously. This island, it's not a kind one. On days like this, when someone you know has been taken away so brutally, you can't help but wonder if you could have done something, anything, so the story could have been done, this could have been written differently. You can't help going back to the last time you met, the last time you spoke, the last thing he said. The last time we spoke, we talked about development. He said, nature will be so much prettier when there's tarmac covering that. We reclaim our youth the way we reclaim our reefs, bury them six feet under and then hope for relief. The last time we met, we talked about death threats. He told me to be careful what I say and do and in the same breath that he won't be silenced by them. On days like this, they say you have to let your tears flow. Nine hundred ninety one days ago, we lost a man who was his best friend, who had nothing but ink in his hand to defend his country from tyranny. Everything is left unanswered. Do I have the ability to control my anger towards the nation when the streets run red with the blood of the innocent? My knees are trembling with helplessness and I'm being forced to kneel to his darkness that is spreading. Where's the light? Where's the hope? I do not know. I do not know him, but I respected him. You are a man that should not have been made a martyr. Your words and voice a beacon of veracity in a nation plagued with lies and corruption, of men and women enveloped with their own agendas, uncaring and uncallous of, for the common people. I did not know you, but I wept for you, for your family, for the ones who knew you best, and there are no words to express my deepest condolences. We grieve with you, and we take him on as an example, so we will not refuge in silence, in fear, but we will speak. If they believe they are making us powerless by taking away one of our own, then they are mistaken. Preach on your radical religious views, but there is no God in existence in any one of many religions in the world that will forgive you for murder. They are handing us the fuel to our fire on a silver platter, and they thought they might silence us, slit our thoughts, and stab us till we give up our voices. Our anger is the matchstick that will start the flame. Go on, surround yourself with your material positions and pay for money, your bribery and pseudo-authority. They're all flammable. And as you impose your extremist views and you seat yourself potently on a throne built of blood and bones rising higher each day with the poisonous power streaming through your veins, corroding whatever shred of humanity you might have had, rise. 
for you shall, your fall shall be great, for your fall shall be vexatious, for your fall shall be celebrated with joyous of cries. Till then we will speak. We will call for justice. You may hide in cowardice in your shadows with your lies and deceit and blood-stained hands. But as long as the sun rises every day, the truth will come to light. A man I do not know was murdered, and the nation was left in a standstill, disordered and grief-stricken. I did not know this man, but his name was Yamin Rashid. Taps are red, news is blue. First they took their, your friends, and then they came for you. Tourist land. Embark on boats, spend dollars on sangrias, on private beaches. Stairs are red, news is blue. Coconuts are sweet, and Maldives is poorer without you. Laughter is the sea salt that stings and soothes the stabs. They put 14 in you. Words are black, humor is blacker, the world is blind, you painted color. They called it monochrome, you called out injustice in the coral, the horror in the atoll. The steps are red, the news is blue, your weekly roundups were cool. What's an archipelago to do without you? Are they all to go to exile if they aren't already dead? News is blue, steps are red.